the Let's Talk About Emotions set. This set is designed to help students build their emotional understanding and build awareness around emotional regulation skills. This set comes with a couple different pieces. It comes with emotion icons, a how big is my problem, how big is my reaction chart, and a how big is my emotion chart. So you'll need to cut out your emotion icons. We've also included four blank faces so that you can talk about a specific emotion or feeling. You have the ability to customize this set as needed. All right, for the demonstration, we've already cut out our feelings icons. This also comes with an I feel chart. So when you introduce your feelings chart, and you begin talking about feelings and emotions, you probably want to start with the most basic or common emotions, happy, sad, angry, surprised. And as your student builds their understanding of recognizing emotions within themselves and their emotional vocabulary, you can expand and start to talk about nervous, bored, frustrated, and so on. Providing this chart to your student will help them to identify the feelings that they might have. For example, use this chart to help your students recognize their own feelings. By looking at the chart, they can quickly say, I feel happy. Once students begin to identify their emotions, we can start to talk about how big an individual emotion might feel. For example, when I see a friend and they wave at me in the hall, I feel happy. When it's my birthday and I get what I really wanted, I'm extremely happy. When I don't get to go outside and play at recess because it's raining, I feel sad. When my pet dies, I feel really sad. So this chart is designed to help you begin to explain that we can have a range of feelings. We can feel mildly happy, or we can feel extremely happy. We can feel mildly nervous, for example. I hope the teacher doesn't call on me to answer a question. Or we can feel extremely nervous. I have to say a line in the school play and everybody's going to be watching. We've also created a sheet called how big is my problem how big is my problem and how big was my reaction this is a sheet that can help you debrief with your students their reactions to different problems so for example let's take a problem my problem was I was bumped in the hall okay how big of a problem is that well, was it an accident? The student didn't mean to bump me. So maybe this was a small problem. It was an accident. But the way I responded was pretty big. I pushed down the other student. By providing a concrete chart like this, we can take an abstract concept of emotions and make it more concrete so that we can see concretely that the way I reacted to my problem doesn't match how big my problem actually was. We've also created this in black and white so that you can photocopy this and use it as a worksheet with your students just to make it a little bit easier for you. And then these are all laminated. So when you're done with this particular problem, you can clean off the sheet so that you can use it again for another time. It's important to remember when we start to talk about emotions, emotional thoughts are real for the individual and it's not helpful to dismiss their feelings. When emotions run high, students can exhibit behavior that they wouldn't normally exhibit when they're in a calm state. So. It takes time, patience, compassion. We never want to dismiss a student's feelings, but we want students to come to a place where they can learn to recognize their feelings, the intensity of their feelings, and come up with strategies to manage big feelings. 
When using this chart, also remember that emotional behaviors are often embarrassing and they can have negative consequences on relationships for students. Those negative consequences can reinforce feelings of isolation and low self-worth. When using this chart, it's important to introduce it in a calm manner and to really introduce it in a supportive manner as well.